off topic question, but just sort of something I actually found interesting as I was checking out the uh, you know history of Coles or whatnot. But I actually noticed that back in the mid 1950s, Coles was actually already starting to do self serve checkouts. And there's a really neat picture of one of the stores that says there's a sign there, I think, um, shop as you please pay when you leave. And I was thinking, how is that even possible with the, let's say, lack of technology back then? I mean, was it sort of like the honor system? People were expected to calculate their own. And I mean, I don't know if you know the answer to this. I'd love to hear your speculation if you don't, but I'm kind of thinking like, how did that work? People come up, use a calculator, calculate it themselves and then pay exact change and, and leave. Like how would that have been done back in the 1950s? That's a really great question. I, I actually don't know the answer. Um, if I if I were to, to speculate, um, I would suggest that uh, we would have had to provide some mechanism for people to make the correct kind of calculations around their shop. I don't know what that would look like, but it's like an old school ledger or, you know, maybe one of those things that accountants used to use that, you know, ring up, ring up the bill, basically ring up transactions. And then, uh, I mean, I guess the benefit of having hard money, tangible money back then as the predominant form of currency, um, it might've been easy to, to, you know, portion out exact change and, and be able to leave. I truly don't know. That's a really interesting fact um, that I don't think I've come across. So I might have to research that. Yeah, I'm really interested in knowing how that worked because I imagine things didn't get into cents, right? Like you, something would be half a cent, one cent, three cents or whatever. And so, you know, you probably didn't have this specific need to get down into pennies and, and everything like that. But mm -hmm. I am kind of curious now about how that actually worked and I'm going to try and figure it out. Mm -hmm.